Hi there everyone, I'm Hoops and you're watching my channel, Hoopers Mayhem, Aussie Style. In today's video I'm going to show you some uh, cool facts and information of uh, one of Australia's most iconic trees called the Xanthorea, uh, commonly known as the black boy tree or grass tree. If you like my videos and my channel, uh, please consider subscribing, uh, hitting the bell icon so that way you don't miss any of my upcoming or latest videos. And don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Okay, so everyone, here I am uh, in the bush, not far from my house. It's uh, actually called the Warungup Spring Reserve. Uh, as you can see, here is this is the uh, what's called the Xanthorea or the the grass tree or black boy tree. Uh, this tree is so versatile and has so many uses, and uh, it actually ranges from uh, food. There's friction fire starting methods. Uh, there's also spears and weaponry, uh, glues and resins. All right, so let's talk. Let's talk about the food that uh, these trees produce first, because it's, they're everywhere. So we can get quite a fair bit of food off of these trees. Okay, so down at down at the base of these, uh, the long stems of these plants. This is only a small one. Uh, these stems are actually edible and contain uh, vitamins, minerals, sugars, carbohydrates, and they're actually a little bit starchy. Uh, but yeah, I'll just show you now. Uh, which bits are the edible parts of the of the plant? All right, so at the at the base of this plant is where you will get the uh, the bits you can eat. So you can see all these little white strands in the bottom here. Uh, these are the bits that you can eat. So normally you would just pull them out, but what I'll do is just uh, see if I can just get my knife in there and cut a small section of it out. So here we go. These are. Uh, little white sections here, minus all the dirt, but the white sections right up until it gets to the, the greenier section where it starts to get a bit crunchy, the bits that you would stop eating. And um, yeah, these are, like I said, packed full of sugars, carbs. Right, here we go. This is just some that I've uh, gathered just a second ago. We you can see here at the end of these uh, plants when they pull out of the ground, they're actually really white for about an inch or so, and then they start tapering off into like this light lighter greener color so like I said about the first inch or so is what you can actually eat so I'm just gonna try some now just bundle it up and then I uh, just chew it like a carrot they don't have a they don't have a great taste or you know like a strong flavor or anything they don't really taste like anything a little bit sweet get quite a quite a bit of juice out of them not a bad little snack like I said they're not something desirable but if you ever get stuck out here and you needed something to eat uh, this will at least give you some of your vitamins and minerals and carbs and things like that all right so also the the trunk of this plant can also be broken away and uh, you can actually collect the pulp from inside 
uh, inside of the tree and uh, can also be eaten uh, but doing this will actually kill and destroy the tree so you should only ever do something like this if you were in an extreme uh, emergency like a survival situation now on top of the on top of this tree you will see uh, this long uh, long flower spike <laughs> I lost it for a minute you see the long flower spike which uh, takes anywhere from 10 to 20 years to grow uh, and the tree itself actually only grows about an inch every year so you see something like this how long that's probably been growing uh, so the flower spike actually has uh, some really good uses and the first one uh, we will talk about is the fire by friction uh, fire by friction method so uh, one, once these flower spikes have died off and and you actually find them on the ground drop to the ground uh, they can actually be collected up and used for making the spindle and the baseboard uh, for starting a fire friction uh, used off of a fire drill uh, I'll show you a quick demonstration of uh, me starting a fire with the fire uh, bow very shortly alrighty so now we'll go on to the the primitive weapons and the spear making side of this uh, plant so the Aboriginals actually used to use the uh, the flower the flower stems to make their arrows and spears and things like that for, um, for hunting um, the stem obviously it's very straight uh, they would use the the base of the stem uh, and hollow a small section out of it and actually graft another piece of uh, like a hardwood like maybe jarrow or iron bark something like that and sharpen up the end uh, they would actually use a glue which was found on the, the base of these plants as a resin pitch to secure their spears or arrows uh, heads into the place into place of them all right so down, uh, usually on the stem of these plants you can actually usually find some resins from uh, a damaged section of the the trunk uh, which looks a little bit brownish and reddish uh, and it's in little balls forming like a scab on the plant um, so the aboriginal people would actually collect these and make the glue right so here's a good example of a uh, piece of resin that i found on one of the other black boy trees just nearby uh, so they will look a bit like this on the outside of their uh, trunk. So it's just like a nice big ball that grows on the side of the tree. So that's where the resin's actually pouring out of the tree and uh, basically healing over like a scab to try and uh, heal it. Uh, so you break these bits off and you'll see in there the real glassy looking. So these here are what they would actually melt down. Right, so to make, make the resin, you would uh, heat the resin up over a fire until it uh, it became thinned out enough. Uh, then they would actually add uh, a ratio of three parts of this resin to two parts of charcoal dust and to one part of kangaroo scat or uh, kangaroo poo. Uh, the glue would then be moulded around their spear uh, or arrowheads and then it actually set like concrete, uh, making a very, very strong weapon. So another great use for the flower stem is uh, actually to make yourself a nice walking stick for like hiking uh, or using it as a third leg for descending down uh, rough or uneven terrain things like that uh, so now i'll give you a quick demonstration of how i make a uh, fire from the flower stem uh, by the friction fire friction method i mentioned before uh, with a homemade bow drill so there's my spindle and there's my little base plate
guys so that's that's the end of my video um, really want to thank you guys for watching and uh, if you haven't enjoyed it uh, please remember to subscribe to my channel and hit that uh, bell icon so that way you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and uh, smash the like button and uh, yeah I'll catch you on the next video guys peace out stay moist